So welcome in, guys. I uh, will find out, not Polar. Welcome in. Um, I've been sent these by Thrustmaster. Thrustmaster have been absolutely insane and been very generous and sent me out some bits and pieces. So we're going to open the boxes and see what they are. You can't not giggle at the name Thrustmaster, exactly. Thrust Daddy are awesome. So massive thank you to those. I'm going to do an unboxing. I'm going to set them up and probably break more stuff. I knew today was going to be chaotic and probably wrong. But here we are. If I can get in them, that'd be great. This might take a while. <laughs> this might take a while. I'm in the first box, sort of. Yeah. Right, we're in. We're in the first box. I think this is going to be a bracket, but I'm not sure. Oh, no, it's got wires in it. It's got wires in it. This? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I think this was meant to house this. But anyway, right. So they've been very, very generous. And they've sent me the new farm stick that came out. And it's very, very pretty. This is the Thrustmaster farm stick, which is available. It's about 60, 70 quid. And it's very pretty. Look at that. I'll tell you what, I'll turn the blur off. Bear with. There you go. Right. Now you can see it. It's very beefy. It's got a lot of buttons. Lots and lot of buttons. I don't know how I'm going to use this. I've never used a farm stick before, so we'll have a go. But this is the farm stick. Yep, you've got thumb stick. Uh, you've got a scroller. Two buttons. You've got a setting button. You've got F1, F2. You've got... You switch your tractors around, basically your tab buttons. You've got a start button. You've got all the buttons you'd ever need. It's very cold because obviously it's been outside. That might work make it feel a bit weird but that might work right we've, we've got a plan we've got a plan means i'm undoing again but this is wide enough that i could probably have the wheel on one end and then if my ratchet would stop like switching to doing up that'd be great <laughs> if we have this here on the edge i think this is big enough and then I might even be able to have it run under the desk, which would give me a bit more room. That would kind of work. Right, okay, cool. Plan. Y'all enjoying seeing my boxer shorts? I've already got a wheel knob. Good monkey, I didn't like it. Good. So, yeah, this is, this is large enough. It's a bit, a bit wobbly like that, but that works. I like that. So where I've basically got it is I've got the farm stick on, on the same stand, the wheel stand, because it's actually a bit wider, which allows me to move it. I can access all my buttons. It's at an angle. I don't know whether I... It's a bit wobbly, but with the added extra weight of the Thrustmaster on it, that's better. Like, the Thrustmaster isn't quite... The, the farm stick's not quite on the thing, so it wobbles a bit. It's a bit wobbly, look, but... On the whole... We're getting there. We're fine-tuning we're fine and fine-adjusting, friends. Obviously, the higher it up, that's better. But as long as I'm not pushing it forward like that, it should be fine. I like that. That's a good position. It means it's very high for this. But again, if I'm moving it out the way after streams, it's not a problem, right? Like you can only see the top of it 
and because of the blur you only really see it when i'm got my hands next to it right i like that that's good thank you so much again for hanging out and thank you again to frostmaster for sending me the farm stick it is fantastic its functionality is great it's really ergonomic all the buttons really easy to program the fact that most of it is already pre-programmed and then you can go through and change it how you desire is really really nice to see as well big fan very comfortable to use and it obviously works with the t248 which is the wheel i'm currently using as well 